Hey. <laughs> I gotta change my settings. Oh, one second, I gotta change these microphones. Sock. This is more Grand Theft Auto Online on the PC, but like I said, it's generally the same on the PS4 and on the Xbox One. Generally, you can even use your different types of controllers. All right, so uh, we've got our message uh, from the assistant about the car warehouses. She's really bugging me to really check out these car warehouses. So I'm still not sure which car warehouse we want to buy yet, but maybe we can have a look. I guess I got a feeling she's going to tell us all about it. <laughs> she's doing her job right anyway. All right, so she told us quite a bit about these other ones. Let's see. Vehicle cargo. There we go. Okay, if you want to start trading, you're going to need warehouse space to store the cars. See what's on the market and make your purchase. Hmm, all right. LSIA Vehicle Warehouse. And this would be the West LSIA Vehicle Warehouse. Good. And if you want your business to inspire the masses, this is the location for you. Because when they're queuing for another cavity search at LSIA, the sight of you stepping off your private jet to take delivery of a million dollar hypercar <laughs> will be just the motivation they need to get off their asses and start being incredibly rich. The amount you can sell at any one time is dependent on how many associates you got on hand. If we cool. want to chase the bigger commissions, we're going to need nice. to modify the cars to the bigger buyer specifications. Remove trackers, change paint jobs, rims, apply other mods. Different buyers got different requirements. The mechanics on site to handle all that. It's an independent operator, so it costs to repair stolen cars that come in damaged. <laughs> and to do the I mods. <sighs> but believe me, it makes life easy. And you see the door over there? That'll take you all the way down to the underground facility. You renovate it down there, so there's somewhere to store any of those big, unwieldy, modified vehicles off the Warstock site. Nice. Only place to accommodate anything from a huge phantom wedge to an amphibious Blazer Aqua. Cool. And that's it. We should get to work. The more right, vehicle cargo job. we move, the more of an interest Securo Serve's gonna take in the company. We steal enough cars, they'll throw us some special vehicle work. Come by the office when you want to source that next car. See you, boss. Awesome. All right. So here we are here with our good friend AOS Gaming. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to tell me our cutscene there. Cutscene there. Yeah. Because I don't know if he had to wait there. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, so this is the place. Look at this place. We got it all race car. And now that we've got the LSIA uh, West Warehouse. What's back here? Just more stuff? More stuff, yeah. More holding area, more holding area. More cars. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So we're going to have to steal some cars and fill it all up. This is our little warehouse office in here, yeah. We can access the uh, laptop there. And then she told us about a little area here. Change clothes, sleeping area. That's awesome. Our own little private pop machine. Very cool. Workers unite. All right. Boss is here. And boss is here. That's awesome. Whoa. Yeah. Good work, buddy. Good work. All right. <laughs> I gotta work in these conditions? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We're gonna make a lot of money together. A lot of hey, money. No break for me? <laughs> no. I'll keep on working then. <laughs> uh, 
All right. So yeah, we got all kinds of stuff in here. All kinds of space. Not bad. I like it a lot. I like it, I like it, I like All right, I had a little bit of a problem recording there in the beginning there. But I think we got the important part here, the new one. Now where's the uh, door to the basement? Is that way over here? Is this the door? Because you should be able to go downstairs. She talked to us about that. Oh yeah, here it is right here. Yep. Not sure where he is. Yeah, oh right, yeah, there. Friend of yours came in there. Because I know I didn't notice these places before. Most of these doors are doors to nowhere, so... You never really... Sure. And I didn't notice these ones either. <laughs> yeah. All right. Crazy. Oh yeah, look at all this. Bat cave down here. Wow. Look at all this. Very cool. Very cool. Wonder what we can t do with that generator. <laughs> Yeah, very cool, everybody. All right. All right, now we're going to have to go make some more money. We're down to 1.3 million now. That's not good. <laughs> oh, well, back to working on it with our with our good friends here. All right. All right, there's the front. Very cool. The big place. Yeah. Woo. -hoo. Very cool. Nice. AOS can fly. It's always nice when people fly. <laughs> Not everybody flies. All right, AOS's place here. Very cool. Oh, yeah. He's got all the cars in here. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Is that there was a, a black Vigero back there, maybe? Oh, no, that's a uh, Tampa. Nice. Cool. Welcome back, everybody. All right, so we got our car warehouse. And see that there? A little statue there? We'll look at that in a second. Yeah, see the secure serve statue. I don't know when that showed up. It might have shown up. It must have uh, shown up when we did our recent sell. We did a few different things, but I heard there was a trophy, but it never showed up. It seemed to take a couple days extra, and there it was. But I told you guys I'd show it to you if I found it, and there it is. I don't know if that's just a generic one or if there's other special ones, but... I got a trophy. <laughs> Maybe it's just a participation trophy. Either way, I, I like trophies. I like stuff around the desk and the office. I like messes of money. <laughs> All right. So, special cargo. Now, we're going to finish up. So, we just bought ourselves the... Uh, let's back out here. Here's the vehicle cargo summary page. It's oh. a rundown of the organization's activities in the market. All if right. you want to move to a warehouse in a different part of the city, click on the vehicle warehouse map link at the top of the page, and you'll get a fair trade in price for your current property. Ooh. And if you want to start sourcing vehicles, you click that green button there. Lastly, you can click Renovate Warehouse if you want to change the look of the place. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So that's the rest for the uh, car warehouse here. And we'll have to go in there. We've already picked our, our uh, decoration, so I think we're pretty good there. We're happy with the location for now because we're going to come back to this in a bit and source our first vehicles probably in the uh, next episode, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, we're going to uh, add on the other little piece of that corner that I'm looking for. Let's see, where is map? Large. So we're going to buy ourselves a brand new large warehouse. We have a great warehouse. We've never had one of these, a large one anyway. So we're going to get it right there, and there's our car warehouse right here. So that's part of the reason why I wanted those locations. Uh, different players, you guys might want different locations, you know, that suit you better, more central, or more closer to your stuff. Um, I personally like being along the west coast. I've already got a bunch of things along here, like I said. Why not uh, go all the way? And we'll have this whole corner, as I said earlier. All right, and it's on sale is the other reason. So it's 25% uh, off, so that is, what, roughly 300 or roughly 600,000 off. So that's uh, considerable savings. Yeah, and it is about $2 million to empty these ones. It's going to take some time in between missions for us to fill it up. But still, you know, within, within doing it a couple times, it'll be uh, well worth it. Let's buy it. So zero gas factory across the street here. The economy is stronger than it's ever been. There isn't a nationwide fossil fuel crisis, and zero gas have a huge amount of warehouse space on the market for no particular reason. 
<laughs> long term let available. Hmm, really? Well, we're probably going to be hopefully making money long term there. Let's see. Are you sure? Yeah, this is going to clean us out, guys. Uh, empty warehouse slot. Yeah, we're going to keep our derriere lingerie. That way we've got two different spots to go to. I think that's the most warehouses we're going to get, but two is kind of nice. Debated about that, though. Okay, you have purchased this warehouse. 1.7 million on sale. All right. It's got owned here. Let's zoom out. There we go. So now we got that one and that one. All right. And our vehicle cargo. Wow. Well, we'll get to that in a bit. The map there. So let's pop out here. And we're gonna go quickly and go check it out. And I'll show you guys what I mean on the map when I'm I get there. Boss, 100%. That's what I like to hear. Oh. Alright, I'll see you guys back in a minute. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're just passing by our clock tower here. I like to uh, use that as my little landmark for the moment. And there's our derriere lingerie back lot right there. And it's almost full at the moment. Which is good, because after that we're down to 69,000. <laughs> and I actually made money to afford this... Uh, large warehouse while it was still on sale. So yeah, 69,000, we're gonna have to make some money. That's uh, possibly the lowest I've ever been or closer. Soon they might turn off the lights if we don't make some money. <laughs> but I think it was worth it, saving 600,000 was, was kind of worth it. And it ends tomorrow, so I think. Never go with Rockstar, so that was best to get it. So here we go guys, this is part of what I meant. Now you can see on the map there, we, we own this corner. We own this corner. Oh man, all ours. <laughs> well, kind of. We're leasing it, but you know, it's, it's the thought that counts. So there's our new building, Zero Gas. So yeah, let's have a look here on the map. And you can see we're along the coastline here. And there's our new warehouse, and there's the car warehouse. Alright. And now we've got the little corner, little custom shop there. Yeah, a little out of our way, but at the same time, I, I do run a lot of crate missions down here, so I'm hoping it won't be too long for some of those missions. They'll be just stop, skip it, and jump away. And others will be across town, but I got the buzzard here. Should be all right. All right, so we've seen the car warehouse earlier, and uh, yeah, we're going to go inside. The new large crate warehouse, and have a quick look in there. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, we've already kind of gone over the warehouse stuff, guys, so I didn't think it would deserve its own episode to show you guys this. The large crate warehouse. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Look at that. Wow. That's some tall ceilings there. Yeah, we're going to be filling this all up. <laughs> money. That's what I see. I see some places for money. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, it's very spacious. Cool. Clean. There's a little thing here. Now we're going to confirm what I already know, but just to show you guys here. So we're going to go in there, and all our upgrades should have covered over. See, we've already bought them. So you don't have to buy them for all your warehouses. Most of you might already know that, I'm sure, but just so anybody's wondering, you don't have to buy those over again, which is kind of nice, at least. Makes that value a little bit better. And now we've got this little office in here. Is that a sitting area? Keeps disappearing on me fast. Yeah, sit. And there's our laptop, usual stuff from the warehouse, uh, radio, and exit. Awesome, I'm sure there's an exit on the other side. Perfect, yep, pretty much the same stuff. Awesome. Woo. Yeah, I like it a lot. All right. Yeah, so let's head back out here. So that's kind of nice, so we're going to be rolling up in here. Nice little entrance. Well, maybe I'll, I'll pop back in the budget home. Keep the noise down here for a moment. We hear enough thumping of the, of the uh, helicopter all day long. <laughs> Making a money. Yeah, sights here, editor, sights here, editor. But now I'm doing crates in between. And that's why our other warehouse, uh, Derriere Lingerie, is, is almost full. I think I have one more mission to run, and it will be full again. 
that's our 42 crate warehouse. So I think we're going to keep that going. So, you know, having two warehouses gives you the chance to split things up. You know, if, if somebody's bothering you, you got two different places to go. Or if you're just not sure, there's a lot of chaos in this area. I can go down here. If there's chaos down here, I can go up there. You know, yeah. It's got good road access. And uh, the part of the reason, like I said, I'm not too sure that this is a good buy for you guys or this one's a good buy for you guys. But for me it was because I like the coastline, because I'm already along the coastline. And I, li I know this area best. You know, you guys might know other areas better than these areas, but I tend to know a lot of these areas more. So, um, you know, it just gives you a home, home turf advantage, I guess you could say. Some people say that's a good idea, you know. Sometimes you know little advantages, little shortcuts, little walkways that uh, take time to learn and to remember when you need them in a hurry. Yeah. And it gave me the opportunity to uh, own side-by-side -side crate warehouses. So we got our, our uh, car warehouse over there and our crate warehouse here. Yeah. That's the other reason why I got this. So I'm not sure I'd really like this by itself or that by itself, but because they're they're side-by-side, -side, I kind of like that I own the corner here. Yeah. Hope you guys understand what I mean. And hopefully that helps you with your own decisions. And like I said, I'm not sure if it's the best for you guys, but it is a nice concept having these uh, on the corner together. So some of you guys might like trying that for yourself. Oh, 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 terrible. I thought that was a, uh, a wire. <laughs> that is definitely not. That's a bar. That is a bar. Yeah. Well, you can't really land on the bar. That's kind of weird, though. It's kind of like a not completely real bar, because I have my... Yeah, see, it doesn't quite should be careful on it, I guess. But yeah, part of my helicopter passes through it, and part of it does not. No, oh, let's go over the beach. Oh, no, actually, we should go back to our car grass before my helicopter dies. So, yeah, look at all that real estate. That's a lot of real estate down there, I think. A whole lot of real estate, zero gas building, and then this build you building right here. Yeah. I am happy. And I hope so. I better be <laughs> 69,000 down. I can uh, can't afford anything now. So, but hey, we've got the means to make lots of money now, right? That's what it was all about. So we'll look up with some of our friends, maybe AOS gaming, some other people, and uh, see if we can put some money together for everybody. <laughs> so Rockstar likes the high prices for some of these things. I can't wait to own some supercars myself. It's one thing that we are lacking that I haven't mentioned much lately. To let, guys, let you guys in on a secret. We're missing the supercar. We have no supercar. We're going to have to fix that. Yeah. When we do races, we have to run a stock supercar. That's just no good. we got to get something better. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. If you did, give us a like. Hopefully it helped you out. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. We'd like all new subscribers. It's free. Yeah, we appreciate it. Helps us out. Yeah, so we'll see you guys all uh, soon for the next episode. I think now we're going to be doing some more money making, getting some more of the new stuff. Probably the new uh, the new missions that go with this, the new car warehouse. So we've got all those new missions that uh, give us these vehicles in the basement here. Yeah. So hopefully some of you guys know what I mean. But this place unlocks the ability to steal cars and sell them. But it also unlocks a series of special missions. Actually, I wonder if I can show you guys right now. Let's see. Interaction menu. Um, secure serve. Oh, yeah, i got to go outside. That's okay. I'll show you guys outside. Oh, just doorway right over here. So, just to make sure, because not everybody um, knows about these menus or, or knows how to access these different things. So, in your interactive menu, once you're a CEO, you, know, you have your office and you register as a CEO, you, you click the secure, secure serve here. It'll be down the list, but once you registered, it'll be at the top of your list. Like the MC clubs and everything else, they move to the top once you're a part of them. And then from there, VIP work. And then here, like before, we've got our sights here. We've got our head under there. Yep. And some other missions that were in there in the past, right? And now these are new ones with a star on them there. So, plowed, fully loaded amphibious. So they're all locked to us right now, I think, for the most part, stockpiling. And we've done a couple with friends. 
But basically, you have to you have to um, start uh, doing all the VIP work, start doing different things to unlock these, and uh, then you can do the missions yourself. And then they all have special vehicles that are kind of cool, new added on uh, vehicles for the DLC. And if you run those missions a bunch, you can you can buy those vehicles. Now, I'd, I'd caution a lot of you guys to hold off on buying those vehicles, because if you run the mission enough times, I'm not exactly sure how it works, because I haven't gotten there yet, but I do know that once you run them enough times, you um, unlock a, a better version of the vehicle that has, you know, typically, you know, better armaments, better armor, uh, better abilities, and a cheaper price. So apparently you could save up to about $4 million, yeah, across all the vehicles if you do it that way. And then they, uh, you buy those and they go in the bottom of your car uh, warehouse. You're kind of sort of your bat cave of sorts, yeah. And then you can use them in free mode or other things like that if you want to. And apparently some of them are useful on other missions. Yeah, there's a haulage VIP mission, and if you buy the Phantom Wedge, you can use that on those missions as an example. All right, everybody. Well, hope that helps you out. We got a lot more coming, I'm sure. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Gonna need a new helicopter. <laughs> Somebody broke this one. <laughs>